Ladies and gentlemen, we are revisiting one of our original videos. Dungeons and Dragons, 1987. Anyway, uh, yes, this is uh, one of my first pickups. Probably back in the late 90s, maybe uh, in the aughts. I don't remember exactly. A friend of mine had some friends that had some pinballs and they wanted to get rid of them. I picked up this D&D &D not working and the heavy metal meltdown for $400. So, and I didn't know anything about games at that point. Um, but it was a steal of a deal, 200 piece. For sure. Um, <laughs> what that? Isn't there like a thousand of these made or something? It's kind no, of there's more D&D &D than that made. Uh, the one thing about this one that's kind of rare is the topper's still on it. <coughs> Most of the toppers right. were removed because they couldn't get them in certain areas and, and they never got put back on. So uh, I think it's like, I don't want to quote a, a number because then you'll fact check me. You know, I think it was like a thousand or fifteen hundred. I don't think, I don't think it went into mass production. It's from 1987, so it was heavy metal. Um, it's a Valley Midway. Uh, it's definitely got the D and D theme going on. There's not enough blue in the play field. <laughs> uh, it's um, entertaining game. There's a few different aspects of it that uh, were first of its time. It has these magic saves by the uh, flippers here, and it actually you need to use them during gameplay, or you'll actually lose the pinball it's like an out lane built in and it's below the normal flipper buttons Oops. And, and it'll ignite those mag saves on each side if you have them charged sometimes you can't just do it over and over in a row um, also it's got a teleport feature where if you'll shoot a pinball up this way um, sometimes it'll come out this hole over here and vice versa. And this up here on the left is like a hidden staircase, isn't that what it says? Well, no, that's how you get up to the dragon's lair. If you, uh, that's your also your skill shot. And that's how you attack the dragon. The, what you want to do is try to extinguish the dragon's flame by hitting these side targets, the dust shields, and the dust extinguishers, the sword extinguishers the flame. Um, and then you want to hit your teleports so you can knock this ramp down and up here is the special shot the million the million mystical million point shot but first you gotta knock these three drop targets down with that drop down it's very difficult I've only done it maybe one time and well I've done it multiple times but I was cheating those times <laughs> And you fight the dragon up in, up here in the dragon's lair, and just get some massive points. It's a, it, it's got it's a really fun pin. Um, it's got an interesting music. I, I actually of, find the music annoying. It's kind the, of laid uh, back. The back glass is a the classic Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I think I think his name is Larry Elmore did the the yeah, artwork, but it was in the uh, the old Dungeons and Dragons books. But I guess let's get a little gameplay. Well, yeah, this, I'm going to show some of the uh, features before I actually play the game. All right. I'm going to kind of demonstrate the, the teleports. There's one on the right side and left side. Let me turn it down a little bit. The music's probably fine. I just have heard it for the past three hours, so I'm kind of over it. I finally got it going. This is like one of my first pins uh, besides F14, and uh, it's been down forever. And of course. There. Just here. Where's the next one? The other one's on this side of the play field. You can't see it. There's a there's a flash. I don't know if it's, it might be down still. Yeah, it's it's already loaded with a pinball. So anyway, the magic save. If it's flashed on the left side like that, it'll save itself. But. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna go ahead and play some. Yeah, you might as well. Let's see if I can. The skill shot is all the way up to the top and through the dragon's lair. It's not easy to do. You know, you think you just take raw power, you still gotta just hit it just right. We did a video on this uh, uh, four years ago. That's back when we were mutes. So we didn't talk in it. We just did a little bit of game. I think we had issues with like, the Magnus save didn't work on one side. Oh yeah, it was definitely not as far as long as this one is. So if people were watching it for gameplay, they were probably like, I don't get it. <laughs> You're right, this and all the shots are Really you gotta remember to use that magnet save when you try to catch the pinball with your or you lose it. Every time you hit that center bump you're uh, adding to the plane points. The one that's lit up or let me see if I can get a teleport over here. Oh Try to catch the dragon lighting up. We'll do one more quick one. There it is. Ah, oh, went off. Hit, hit it again for our player two. Maybe I'll do it again. Nicer if there's a 3D dragon in there, but it was 87. Builds. Ooh, a one dimensional dragon. Scary. This is like the little pit bull. Oh, see the teleport? Get the teleport shot in. See if I can get the other side of the teleport.
can score. I like that kind of bonus time. See if I get one ball, one more. Let's see if I can hit the high score here. Ah, not one skill shot. Nice show, though. So we we uh, made some progress on this. We wanted to uh, document it, make a little bit better video because, like I said, didn't even talk in the last one. No. <laughs> and this definitely deserves a, a spot in the show because it's a, it's a nice pen. It's got a good theme, and the music is. Eh. Hey, it grows on you for that time period. Heavy metal meltdown kind of blows it out of the water, but that's true. <laughs> well, anything else you want to add? Not at this time. All right, like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>